guys welcome to today's video and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is mariola and we're doing another christmas baking video today and i'm super excited because we're going to be paying homage to one of our favorite and by ours i mean my sister and i's favorite christmas slash barbie film yes barbie and a christmas carol is a classic i've seen a lot of the barbie movies growing up with my sister because we watched barbie and the 12 dancing princesses all the barbie movies that came out maybe like 10 years ago we watched them all i have no idea if they're still making barbie films but this is the best one there is if you haven't seen any this is the only one you need to see and in my opinion this is the only christmas carol you need to see because all the other ones are just weird and boring but this one is iconic and in honor of eden starling i'm wearing this little green fluffy dress the best i could find similar to her opera singing dress that she does at the beginning of the movie but before i start rambling on to let you know we're going to be doing a recipe from the movie so we actually found my sister's cookbook the movie came with a cute apron and a cookbook but i have a bone to pick with whoever wrote this cookbook they did not put in nor the crumpets nor the snickerdoodle cookies which are the main character's favorite cookies snickerdoodles your favorite cookie. All they have are basic recipes. I'm so sorry, Barbie, I still love you, but we are bypassing your cookbook. We're gonna still do the hot chocolate from your cookbook because it has an egg and I'm intrigued, but we're just gonna go ahead and do crumpets because they've always looked so delicious in the movie. They're pooling and they look really thick. So we're gonna try to get them as close as possible to how they look in the movie. I'm really nervous because we've never done them, but they do kind of remind me of arepas. If you've ever tried them, they're delicious. So I'm very excited. So fingers crossed for us and let's get into the video. Of course, we watched the Barbie movie in the background as we started baking. To start the crumpet recipe, you're going to need one cup of warm milk and you're going to add one teaspoon of cane sugar and two teaspoons of active dry yeast. You're gonna mix it all together and then you're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes until it becomes frothy. In the meantime, we added two cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of salt in our stand mixer. As you can see, 10 minutes later, the liquid is very frothy and we're going to add that to the flour mixture. We used our paddle attachment and we beat the mixture for about 3 minutes until a thick dough formed. I wanted to show you guys the progression of the dough because it starts out very liquidy and then you're going to see that the dough starts to form. It becomes very hard and then all of a sudden it kind of separates and becomes a little bit less doughy if that makes sense. But it still retains its form being a little bit more liquidy. I don't know, that's why I kind of wanted to show you because I cannot describe it very well. And once that's done, we're going to cover the bowl loosely with a plastic wrap and we're going to set it in a warm place. It says it can be for about an hour or two. I went to check it in about an hour and we decided to add an hour extra, which made all the difference because the dough rose a lot more. You're going to dissolve half a teaspoon of baking soda in one cup of warm water. You're going to add that once more to the dough and using the stand mixer, you're going to beat it for about a minute or two. I did two minutes. I was also kind of confused at the fact that there were a lot of lumps, but the recipe says that that's okay as they will dissolve in the next resting phase because you have to once again put it to rest in a warm place for 30 minutes. While the dough was resting, it was the perfect time to try out Barbie's hot chocolate recipe. First, you're going to add three cups of milk to a microwave safe bowl. We just went straight in with the measuring cup. And you're going to microwave that on high for two minutes. Then we're going to add one third cup of semi-sweet chocolate that's grated. This was awesome because we recently bought this in our Richmond trip. One tablespoon of white sugar and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then it's time to add the egg. You just have to whisk it all together and then add to the mixture. Mix that all together and you're going to once again put it in the microwave on high for about 3-4 to four minutes. We did only 3 minutes because it started to kind of bubble and we panicked. Then we whisk it all together and we set it aside because it was finally time for the crumpets. My dough was still pretty lumpy as you can see from here and it's going to be kind of gross at the beginning when I'm pouring because there's a lot of a little bit of a mucus but I think it worked out in the end. The recipe calls for crumpet rings which we unfortunately did not have but my mom came in clutch and made these out of aluminum foil after she checked a tutorial online. You have to make sure to grease the inside of each rim as well as the frying pan. The recipe calls to start with medium to high heat and to lower the temperature once it started cooking. Now it's time to pour the batter into each ring until it's slightly more than half full. Thank you. 
The recipe also says it should take about 10 minutes give or take for it to cook fully. As you can see, it's going to start to bubble at the top and you have to make sure that the bottom is somewhat cooked, so slightly brown. I started to panic because as you could see, it was getting very brown at the bottom, but the top wasn't cooked very well. For example, I went to check this first one to see if it was done and I tried to remove the ring, but it still seemed very watery at the top, so I decided to wait a little longer. A couple minutes later, I removed the ring and as you can see, it stayed there perfectly, but this one was still very watery at the top as I jiggled it a little bit i still flipped it and you can see the liquid goes not all over the place but around it my sister was able to salvage it by cutting those corners around as you will see later but i can promise you that the second batch went way better i was also trying to get these really fluffy just like the movie so i might have put way more batter than it actually called for but i was happy with how it turned out in the end so that's why we only got 11 crumpets not the original 12. here are the four crumpets as i said my sister was able to shave off the sides that were making it a little less beautiful and here is the second batch as you can see they are the star children because they are a lot more cooked at the top there's no liquid going everywhere once you flip it so definitely helped lowering the heat as they were cooking and once you flip them they only have to cook for an extra minute so make sure to keep an eye on them Here I saved the best for last because this is literally the thickest crumpet out of the batch and it was definitely the star child out of the star children. By the time we finished making the crumpets, it was time to pour the hot chocolate. Thankfully, it had cooled down a bit, but as you can see, there's still a lot of steam coming out of that cup. We tried to replicate as much as we could the crumpet, so we added a thick square of butter on the top. The main character, Eden Starling, complains of the fact that her crumpets are pooling. And look! They put on too much butter. It's pooling, pooling, Catherine. But that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted our crumpets pooling with butter. And let me tell you, we succeeded. And now it's time to taste test. But unfortunately, I must warn you that I did not notice that I completely cut off the top part of my face. So you will be seeing a headless review coming up. But I hope you guys still enjoy it. Time to try it out. I have my special guest sister off camera. But today it's Sivvy. Hey, Sivvy. Hello. All right. Literally pooling. I don't know if you can see these. It's about to fall and we're just gonna oh. let it go. Let's start with this and then try the hot chocolate. Where did the butter on that one go? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> I think it absorbed it. It absorbed it. Oh my God. Hmm. I dig. Let me, let me get one, let me get one. I got that one. Oh, we will say, packs a punch, it's hefty because it is really thick. It looks very dense. I like it. I don't know why she wouldn't want it pooling because the butter is what makes it. Honestly, without the butter, I don't know how it would be. Oh my goodness. It is indeed very dense, but also airy. Right. It is really yummy. Mm. I really like it. The butter goes really well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely not an arepa. Mm -mm. I was telling him, I think this might be like an arepa. Mm -mm. No, definitely not. Not like an English muffin at all. Nothing like I've ever tasted before, honestly. Exactly. But wow, I really like it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Looks like a big pancake, but does not taste like a pancake. No. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wanna try the hot chocolate? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna excited. I'm excited. I'm nervous. With an egg. Not just an egg. Poco chocolate. No more. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? <gasps> Barbie, you're up to something. Miss Barbie. I really thought it was going to be crack and lacking the chocolate. It's not lacking chocolate it at all. Not. Also, this is not sponsored. The butter we used is curry gold. This might also be making or breaking <laughs> our experience because yeah. the butter with it is insane. It is the best butter. I'm sorry. Oh my god, tell me about it, Sivvy. Mm. This is scrumptious. This chocolate looks scrumptious. I know. I do not taste the egg. 
It's not as frothy as I thought it would be. I, know, I don't know. I egg. don't really know what the egg was for, honestly. I know. But... Maybe it should have been egg white, not just the whole egg to make it frothier. I don't know. Barbie, you let me know what you were thinking when you wrote this recipe. Mm -hmm. But honestly, crumpets, four out of four mm -hmm. for me. Four out of four. Amazing. Hot chocolate, 3.2 out of four to happy dances. I give it 3.7 out of 4. 3.7. That's pretty high. I know, it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good. It definitely, I feel like if, well, maybe she played it safe with the chocolate. Like that one time we put too yeah. much chocolate. Yeah. And I was like, I don't really like too chocolatey mm -hmm. chocolate. Milk, so this is pretty good. Well, this was a success, but it took us a long time mm -hmm. to let the dough rise. So will we do this again soon? Maybe not. But it was amazing. Yup. Barbie. Add the crumpet recipe to your damn book. Exactly, you are missing out, woman. Yes, and snickerdoodles. So then we can redo this with the actual recipes from you. Mm -hmm. But this was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining my sister and me. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.